Hi, Zach. Hi, Corbin. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. How are you? Wait, does this mean we're going? Yeah, we're live. Oh, hello. <gasps> so you're gonna be a part. You gonna be part of this stuff? Yeah. I don't wanna be. <laughs> Hey, welcome back uh, uh, to our stupid reactions. I'm Corbin. I'm Stephanie. I'm Steph. I'm Zach. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back with another review by Zach and Stephanie. Um, mostly Zach. Steph is just here because uh, she likes to talk to Zach. Um, <laughs> she and, and she rec she did recommend this movie to me. Yes, she okay. she watched it with me originally when we did when Rick and I did our initial review. So if you haven't seen that, uh, go watch that. Um, if not, okay, if you just want to see Zach's review, <laughs> just yeah, sit here go. for that. But uh, on, I gotta watch that. Uh, Zach, you watched Piku. This is your what fifth, sixth Irfan film? Oh yeah, I think that's about right. Yeah, you you must like uh, sixth. Must like Earfun there, huh? I like him a lot. I, uh, I, I, I feel more in love with him in this movie. Uh, so, yes, yeah, yeah. obviously, this is uh, the 2015 film directed by Suchert. Sujert. Uh, sorry. <sighs> I usually have Rick say these names. You okay. Su Sujort Sikar. Uh, and this is your first experience with a couple other actors, I believe. Uh, Dapika Paracon. And then uh, Amatak Bakchan. So sexy. Say it again. Amatak Bakchan. There you go. Uh, have you, you've never seen him in anything, right? No, not that I can tell. Did you he ever watch the, the, the Great Gatsby? Yes. Yes. He yes. was in and that. I think I remember, yeah. Yeah. Okay, had, I've seen it. Yeah, he had a little scene in that. I have not I seen that film. That. I just know he was in that film. Um, so, the uh, Steph, you, you like this film? You recommended it to him, right? I do like this film. <laughs> What'd you think of the film, Zach? It was, it was good. Cool. All right, it's nice talking to you guys. <laughs> good. Glad we have this talk. No, I I loved it. I really did. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it was so cute. It was just a really mm -hmm. cute movie. Um, oh look, there we go. Uh, it reminded me of. Uh, I know it wasn't really like a romantic comedy, but mm -hmm. I got like Harry Met Sally kind of feels. Um, just there, her and Irfan's kind of like banter and them in the car kind of remind me of like the beginning of Harry Met Sally when they're driving, which is one of my favorite movies. And so I, I love just their, their chemistry. And I realized that anyone could fall in love with Irfan. Like in every movie that he's in, he just has like really good chemistry with everybody. And so it's not them. They're not good actors. It's him. And no. he's fantastic. <laughs> So let's talk about your fun. Uh, what's he's what's, fantastic? <laughs> he's the greatest. What, what is your uh, favorite performance of his currently? Of the five you've seen, he's so like he he's Irfan. He looks like Irfan. Mm -hmm. He looks like it, but he's like he's different each time. Yeah. It's like so different. Like yeah. the first time I really really experienced him um, was Lunchbox. Yeah, and uh, if you're not counting, you know. Jurassic World. Jurassic World. <laughs> Life of Pi. Life of Pi. Yeah. Um, I just remember the tiger. It was the tiger, right? I just remember. Yeah. That. I don't remember anything else. I was just upset there was no pie at all in the movie. <laughs> I don't remember seeing any pie. And it was about life. The life of it, it made me upset. I don't even want to talk about it. Um, but uh, so yeah, lunchbox. He was. He was just kind of old man, still like sarcastic, and he still had his humor, but he was just like grouchy old man then i watched him in hindi medium which you haven't seen but mm -hmm. he's 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 funny in that movie yeah he's, he's really good in that movie um and then uh hater hider yeah uh i think that's my favorite of his just because yeah. he's he's and really cool in that movie you saw mcbull which he was obviously the more oh mcbull was uh yeah he was really good at mcbull yeah he was really good at mcbull he's uh, good in everything yeah he is but he's... i really like him in this I, I think this might be my favorite yeah just because he's so i i fell in love with him i, I yeah. literally i'm in love with him 
So this uh this script we'll get to the other actors. Um I don't want to. What you <laughs> what you think of, <laughs> There were you, other actors in this movie? I'm pretty sure it's a What'd you think of the script? Because uh, obviously at the what I thought about the script was it was intense right off the bat because obviously there was just so much like it was just everybody talking over each other. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to do a lot of going back because you know I got reading it. And it's like real fast. Mm-hmm. Um, so I had to do a lot of, wait, what did they just say? Um, but I mean, it was, yeah, it was, it was, the back and forth was really entertaining and it was, the writing was really good. And um, the grandpa, uh, the grandpa, and he's a grandpa, the dad, he was, uh, Amatak Bakchan. Huh? Amatak Bakchan. You could call him Big B if you'd like. I, I will. That's the only, I can say that. Big B? Big B, yeah. Yeah, I guess I Big B. Uh, Big B, he was, uh, like, he almost, I, I, I hate it. I didn't hate him. He was annoying. <laughs> yeah, for sure. He got, he, he got annoying. Yeah. But he was still very entertaining. Yeah. So, yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, sorry about that. The audio might be terrible now. I don't know what just happened. Um so I apologize to everybody. Um, yeah, so Big B has been around since uh, v- almost the very beginning of Bollywood. He's one of the biggest stars. He's been around for almost 60 years in the entire industry. So he's he's oh, wow. he's a huge, huge star. There's a lot of films I could I could recommend you. He's he's a really, really good actor. But in this, yeah, he was he was absolutely so, so annoying. Um, but he did. Obviously, that was that was the character he was supposed was, to play. Yeah. On purpose. And he was, I thought he did that he really well. He was annoying, but he also had moments where he was very endearing. Mm-hmm. And, he, and uh, you love old people. So I love <laughs> old people. You have a soft spot. True. For but um. Well, the I, way he cared for people, yeah, and the yeah. way he was looking out for, her, and I loved it when he defended her and defended women. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. He, uh, he was this like, gr- uh, crotchety, you know. Senile, almost senile man, but then he would defend people and defend yeah. his daughter. Yeah. And so, yeah, you're right. That was, no, wasn't daring, but then he'd talk about constipation. What? He was having trouble. <laughs> oh, and then the ending. Oh, that was sad. Yeah. That was so sad. When he had the best, he's like the best motion yeah. ever, and then, then he died. <laughs> spoiler, spoiler alert. For, I hope you're not around if you haven't seen this film already. Um, but what about the uh, the other actress, uh, Dipika Parakon? I thought I, I thought she did really good. She was really great. I no, I loved her. But what I kept looking at is that every time she looked at her phone, even in the beginning, she looked like she wanted to att- like jump on him, like attack him, like like with love, like like, like sexually, like sexually, like <laughs> like like it wasn't like. It wasn't called for at the time, but she looked like she wanted. She wanted him. I mean, <laughs> can, can you blame her? Blame her? No, not at all. And I totally understand. I get it. <laughs> but I was like, "Hey, calm down, woman." Like, I mean, okay, this so is... you were just jealous. <laughs> Very much so. Did uh, one of my favorite scenes uh, in the entire thing was the knife scene. With oh the, yeah, the knife in the car. Apparently, that was improvised. Really? Yeah, I was curious because I thought they were going to touch more about that. I don't know if there was like a other like story behind it. They didn't really say, right? Not that I remember. Yeah, the uh, apparently because um, Big B and and Earfun obviously are two very experienced actors, uh, and so they were they were kind of improvising a whole bunch of stuff. And then when Topeka came in and ended up throwing it. She threw it, right? That's what happened, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that that was. I'm, 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 I'm remembering too. That was yeah. totally improvised by uh, Depeak. A lot of the scene was improvised by Irfan and and Amitak Bakchan. They just kind of let them do whatever they wanted to do and say whatever they wanted to say. And then uh, Depeak came in, and and that wasn't scripted at all either to just throw the the knife away. Uh, do you know if a lot of scenes were like if they allowed for a lot of improv? I, my bet is they did. Because it seemed like it didn't seem like unpolished or anything, but it just seemed like stuff was just like really quick and like the way, especially when Irfan um, was just going like back and forth, like the sarcastic 
banter that they had. I just felt like that could be. I feel like that's him. Yeah, so do I. I feel like this is this is a very like if I could tell you what the person of Irfan was, I think this is probably very much who he actually was. And he was similar in that in Hindi medium, like that same humor, and he would uh, yeah, yeah, it's sarcastic. But this one, I feel like he he was just like that like slacker guy that you always like in movies. But it was Irfan. It was just really it was it was a different side of him, but. I felt like, yeah, I felt like it was him. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it was just a picture of of life. Like, it it wasn't like, um... Beautiful. <laughs> You're such a... Sorry, keep going. <laughs> it's not like it was something super in-depth or anything. It was just a story about life. It was just... It's kind of how Lunchbox is. Uh, that was, that's where she said that. That's what I thought of. It was like, yeah. that reminded me of Lunchbox. Like, it wasn't... I mean, it's not like this huge, you know, plot, but it, it, it's simple. And it but it had a lot of heart in it. And yeah, it was just the story of... I mean, how many people can relate with taking care of their, their sick parent or their old, their aging parent? And just the thing that putting on life on hold for them and, and that kind of stuff. And then... Of course, with their culture, it's a little more different. So yeah. It's, yeah. it's it was relatable, and yeah, you're right. It was just life, and then just people's different perspectives, like Irfan's character's perspective. Would you take care too. of your dad if uh, he was on a dark buck? I don't know. I could. He's getting there. I can see it. <laughs> he's getting there. And dad's gonna. And daddy, you're gonna watch this. And he's gonna. I'm you're gonna, getting there, Brian. Yeah, but you're getting there. You're getting a little. Oh, talking about your uncle all the time. <laughs> nah, he doesn't. He doesn't do that. He's not that bad yet. But uh, yeah, um, we would get in fights a lot. Definitely, it would be. It would be. It would be a lot of arguing. Yeah, he would say something to hurt my feelings, and I it's would get mad. something so different culturally, because obviously the the family dynamics are so different in India than they are in America. As I'm sure you've seen in in the films that you've watched already. It's like a lot of people just grow up with just family in the house like not just your mother father your aunts your uncles your grandparents your they're all in the house and they all can well, they all yeah. can put their two cents on on your life <laughs> and, and there's and also the fact that they call even like older strangers like uncles and aunts and stuff like that it's like they don't know you but you're still considered family kind of thing like family is a big dynamic in there and I, uh, she even said it uh Deepika what's her name Deepika Parcon I'm just gonna say the first name okay is that alright yeah okay Deepika. or you can wait DP DP okay yeah please whenever you say this name give me the simple I always put the simple so uh DP but I like Deepika that's, I yeah. like that uh she even says like that's what you do that's when the kids when the parents get older they, it's the kids job to take care of them when they are phones like why, why are you doing this um with those eyes you know what he does he's like why, why are you doing this and you're like calm down you're fun <laughs> just trying to watch a movie <laughs> have you gone back and watched him in any Hollywood films no I don't want uh, I, not yet I, I, I want to though. I want to watch yeah I need to yeah Life of Pi I'm, cur- I'm curious to see just cause he didn't make that much of an impact on me in those movies and it was he was just playing whatever they needed him to play um, but these movies, he really kind of, you know, stood out. It was like his own, and I you know what's just, funny? He's such a good actor. Yeah. You know what's funny to me about you saying that? Jurassic World. I thought he was so adorable. <laughs> like I was so in love with him. I was just like, no. When the, uh, I, was, when the, I was distracted by Chris Pratt in that movie. But no. I, I, when the helicopter is crashing, I was like, yeah. no, I love him. Isn't it funny though how Hollywood uses this great talent? They put him in a to tiny, like, a tiny bit part. <laughs> you no, know, it's like yeah, it's because then I saw him before when it was in Spider Man. He was playing mm-hmm. another like scientist dude or something. It was just like okay, like, putting one of the greatest actors in He's this so tiny good. little He's been bit, acting forever. bit part. It's it's infuriating the fact that. To they, go back to your question, like what's my favorite role? I think like the best acting role I've seen him in. in is McBull, mm. uh, but this is this one was my favorite. This one was like really enjoyable. Like 
like these are the characters I usually like in, in the movies I grew up with seeing these kind of like sarcastic slacker kind of people and but it was Earth on doing it and so it was like it was perfect uh, would you want to see other uh, I know you want to see other movies? yeah there's there's one that we just found out. I think I told you about it. it was Kisa. Yeah. It's a Punjabi film. He plays a a, a, a a Sikh man. Right. Yeah. He looks totally different, and I want to see that. That one, one looks good. We haven't watched it yet, but um, but Dipika or or Amitak Bakchan. Yeah, I want to see more because you did give me a list of Dipika uh, films. Yeah. Um, she, and I, I love and I think these are the movies I kind of want to watch right now. Uh, is like the romantic. I like. And like you said, this one was the least romantic. Yeah, it was the least romantic um, of the ones I think. Because it was more of a father daughter relationship, but just the but it was still that romantic because they still had that that her and Irfan still had that chemistry and that connection, and she wanted to take his clothes off every time she looked at him, and so it well, was really fast. She's married to another beautiful man. His name's uh, Ranveer Singh, uh, and they. Um, Okay. They've they're in a movie. They're in, they're in multiple movies. movies together. Of the ones I've sent you, there are they're the leads. <laughs> and Ramlima, Ramlia, Ramlila, Ram Ram which you will love. I know that one's a that one's a full on Bollywood big. You'll get musical numbers. You'll get uh, the romance. Uh, you'll get those two leads. It's a fun. It's a very fun one. They are also the two leads in a not as fun but a great film. Uh, Baji Ramastani. Okay. That one's gonna be more sad, uh, but it's also a lot of romance. Great songs. Uh, okay. And then there's another one that's not those two, but it's Topeka. It's Tamasha. That's a really yes. good romance film. Uh, I was looking at that, and the plot sounded interesting, so I, I might watch that. That one's that nice. one's really good too. You'd enjoy good. you'd enjoy any of those. So uh, we'll have to have you on again. Let us know down below what should be the next film or series we have. Uh, also. Recommend me terrible films. I want to watch some bad films. I want to watch some films that people wouldn't recommend me. I don't. I don't. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Yeah, just this. Yeah, you know, see different things. <laughs> I'm not like. Well, let them funny. I started uh, Saho. Oh. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's it's trying to be James Bond, but it's I, it's kind of entertaining. I find it funny. <laughs> I haven't seen it, so I can't. I can't speak to that. You should, you should watch it, and we should review it next time. Next time, no, this is what I'm gonna do. I'll I'll say let's watch whatever movie you want me to watch. Let's review that one. But secretly, I'm gonna say I didn't watch it, but I watched Saho, and we're gonna talk about that. Let us know what's the next film we should watch down below. <laughs>